Well, hi there, everybody, and good Friday morning to Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all out there. We are looking at some pretty nice weather taking us into the upcoming weekend ahead. Cooler than yesterday, but still not much to complain about out there. We had a cold front come through last night. So cool, but decent start to our morning 30s and 40s to kick things off a few passing clouds but we're looking at mostly sunny skies for much of the day today a mild afternoon with most of us getting into the 60s well on the breezy side especially the farther northeast that you go the winds will get stronger and stronger as you head towards northeast portions of nebraska and there'll be more of a, a northwesterly wind as we go uh, through your day today heading into tonight the winds died down a uh, chillier area of high pressure builds in so we're looking at lows in the 20s and 30s with mostly clear skies a lot of sunshine tomorrow another mild day expected this time breezy south and southeasterly winds uh, get us back into the 60s a few 50s off towards the east but you get towards the west warmer conditions in the 70s closer to that warm front and all that warmth will spread eastward as we get into your day on Sunday. So how do highs look for today? We're talking upper 50s, low to mid 60s up north under mostly sunny skies. Again, breezier winds out of the northwest, especially as you get towards the O'Neill and Albion areas. That's where your strongest winds will be for today. Much lighter winds back towards southwest Nebraska. As we see highs in the mid to upper 60s to right around 70 there in McCook. In the south, possibly around 70 in northern Kansas, upper 60s elsewhere. North to northwest winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but stronger again towards the Tri-Cities compared to the lighter winds towards the Phillipsburg, Kansas area. And then towards the east again, trending with the stronger winds towards uh, the areas north of I-80 compared to the areas south. We'll see highs in the mid to upper 60s. Next seven days, again, uh, another day, nice day tomorrow, although again on the breezy side and then uh, near record territory on Sunday. It's going to be nice and warm out there. And changes start to take place for the early portions of next week. We kind of settle into the 50s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with some off and on chances of moisture. Mostly light precipitation. Small chance during the day Monday. A little better chance towards Monday night, especially after midnight. And some of that lingers into Tuesday morning. Mostly going to be rain. Maybe some snow mixed in in areas that it, where it gets cold enough. And then again, Tuesday night into Wednesday, another slight chance of some rain. Maybe some snow late Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning if it gets cold enough. And then as we get into Wednesday night, we have a stronger uh, area of low pressure that's going to be advancing eastward towards the central plains that's going to help to draw moisture up from the south from the gulf of mexico and so with some instability in the area not only are showers uh, possible, but thunderstorms possible Wednesday night, and especially towards the day Thursday, uh, we'll see showers and thunderstorms. It kind of depends on the strength of that low pressure system, and that could also de uh, determine how heavy the precipitation we could be. But this is one of our better chances of moisture we've seen for a while, coming in for Thursday and Thursday night especially here. And uh, this may be the beginning of what could be a wetter weather pattern. Basically, long-range forecast models beyond Thursday are showing several low pressure systems that will pass through the central plains through the rest of the month and uh, these could bring uh, in better chances of moisture and that would be some great news compared to the very dry first two thirds of the month of uh, March. We're going to see that last third of the month hopefully be a little on the wetter side. We could certainly use some beneficial moisture so hopefully that will take place. I would love to see a good uh, big strong area of low pressure bring some rain maybe some thunderstorms but you know never know if it gets cold enough on the backside you could be talking about some snow too. That's just kind of the way things play out usually this time of the year but again looking good heading into the upcoming weekend ahead of us here. Hope you all have a great St. Patrick's Day. Until next time I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Enjoy your weekend.